Hi guys, my name is Tom and today I'm going to talk about this cool little box. Uh, if you're a filmmaker like me, maybe you're a photographer or a videographer, anybody who does any kind of uh, production out on different locations, then you definitely want to find out what's inside this box. So what I got here is uh, what you would call a solar generator, which is basically uh, a box that provides power and provides a lot of power and gives you a lot of cool options. Uh, so whenever you're working, maybe in remote locations or maybe even in, if you're working in the city, but let's say you don't have access to a power outlet or things like that, uh, then this thing is, is really handy. Uh, in the past, I have used uh, just standard gas uh, generators, fairly affordable, around four or five hundred dollars uh, mark. All these new generators, like the one I have up here, uh, are inverter generators, meaning they can provide really clean, reliable power for uh, small uh, electronics that are very sensitive, such as laptops, cell phones, things like that. Uh, and they're also very quiet, actually, compared to those traditional old gas generators. Now, at the end of the day, gas generators are still going to be loud. Um, and that's when a solar generator really is, I think, a game changer. Because this means that, let's say, like I said, you're filming maybe in the city in somewhere where you don't have access to power. Well, you can bring this up, you can plug your lights, your cameras, whatever it is that you need to power. And nobody's going to hear a thing because there's not, you know, there's no sound basically coming out of this thing. Uh, and that's the beautiful thing about this. Not only that, but also another, I think, really major feature is that, like the name says, solar generators means you can recharge these uh, using the sun. So if you are, let's say, somewhere in a remote location where you don't have, let's say, at the end of the day, you don't have access to power or whatever, again, you can use this, you know, basically throughout the day and you can be recharging it using the sun. Or if, let's say if you're using it at night, like I did on this last uh, shoot that I was doing, and the next day, I was able to, again, just plug in my solar panels and recharge this thing uh, to its full capacity. Now, there's already a lot of different solar generators on the market. Uh, you can find a ton of them on Amazon, eBay, all that stuff. There's some that I've shown in some previous videos of mine, so I'll provide some of the links to the ones that I've used and the ones I can recommend. But if you want to get the best, uh, I think of the best, the most reliable, and, and the one that with the biggest capacity, I think this is the one. It's the Energy Apex. Uh, Energy is a company that's they've already been in the game. Uh, they've been producing, you know, a lot of these solar panels, generators, and all that stuff. This is the latest product, uh, which contains 1,100 watt hours. Uh, so it's a lot of power. And just how much? I'm gonna kind of break it down and show you guys if you're powering different lights for how long it's actually gonna work. Uh, because I've been using this uh, for the last uh, about two months and and so I have real world actually experience using this on set. Inside of this you'll find a lithium ion battery uh, with like I said 1100 watt hours or 90 amp hours at 12.6 uh, volts. Uh, that's the capacity of this lithium ion battery. So lithium ion for those of you who don't know it's basically all the latest like your cell phones, laptops, uh, even like the new electric cars like Tesla they use those types of batteries uh, because they're a lot more reliable. You can discharge them fully and then recharge them without damaging the batteries. Like, for example, it uh, happens when you use uh, the you know old uh, lead acid batteries. So with that, you know you don't have those kind of problems. Plus, uh, it's just a lot less of a size and weight to the amount of capacity they can get. So you know a lead acid battery this size would weigh around 60, maybe even 70 pounds. This whole thing, believe it or not, is only 25 pounds, so uh, you can lift it. It's not, you know, it's, it's not as light as a, maybe a, as a laptop or something or a small DSLM type of camera, but for the amount of, again, the power that you're getting, this thing is, uh, is, is very small, very light. And I actually, I think from the ones that I've been kind of looking around or the, the, the different solar generators I've, I've had a chance to test out, when it comes to the kind of the, the amount of electricity or in a capacity you're going to get per pound, I think this is the, the best one, uh, again, on the market right now. This thing is uh, rated at up to 2,000 charge cycles, meaning if you're using it normally, it's going to last you around 10 years. And it, even after that, you can still use it, it just it won't have its full capacity. But still, when you consider for 10 years you can use this thing, then that's also where I think a lot of times, including myself, people will look at the price of lithium batteries and that's when they get really scared because 
they're a lot more expensive than, uh, than uh, any other type of batteries already on the market. Uh, so a lot more expensive, but then again, when you break it down and you see over a period of 10 years, it comes out way cheaper than having to buy, a, let's say, a lead acid battery that's going to last you maybe two or three years maximum. Uh, and even then, it's the capacity really drops. So again, it's the over the long period, this thing is again is going to be the best bang for your back. Another thing you have inside this box is a in power inverter. It's a 1500 watt pure sine wave inverter with a 3000 watt uh, surge uh, limit. So what that basically means, if you don't know, is that an inverter basically takes DC power stored in your batteries, in this case the lithium batteries, and it converts that power to AC power. Uh, so you can use these beautiful ports that you have up here. If you have an appliance like an air conditioner or something, you, it, just when you're starting up that appliance, it might need to spike up and use, like I said, up to maybe 2,000 or 2,500 uh, watts. Well, this thing will handle it for short periods of time. It will spike it and then it drops right away and lets it stays at a consistent whatever thousand watts. And that's where this solar generator again stands out because a lot of the other smaller or cheaper solar generators simply cannot handle that kind of wattage. Now before I jump into some of the other cool features and things that are included in this, I'm sure you're wondering how long is this thing actually going to power your light. So. Uh, again, I've been using this real world examples and when I was using the 120D light from Aperture and then another Aperture light which is the Lightstorm panel lights, uh, together I was pulling around 380 watts. This thing lasted for three hours. Now another time I had three lights connected to this and very powerful lights. One was uh, from Aperture which was a 300D, so it pulls in around 300 watts. And then I had the 120D from Aperture and the Lightstorm panel light. Uh, all together, it was kind of more or less pulling around 700 watts. It would kind of spike up and down sometimes. But uh, with that, I was able to power this for an hour and a half. Uh, so again, pretty amazing considering I was powering all these powerful lights uh, and all using this little box. Now, another time I really pushed this thing to its limit. I actually plugged in five lights at once, which was the 300D uh, from Aperture, the 120D, again, from Aperture, but two of them, and then two of the Aperture Lightstorm panel lights. All together, it was pulling around a thousand watts, and this thing kept on going for 50 minutes until it shut down. And it wasn't even because the battery completely died, but because the inverter that's built in here just overheated. It was pulling that much, you know, current all at once. So it overheated, and after like a couple seconds, I pressed the, the reset here button, and it was able to restart it again. And then uh, it went on for another 10 minutes. So basically an hour I was able to power the, all of those lights. And like I said, I was pulling a thousand watts. So when you consider that this thing is at 1100 watt hours, you might be saying, well, wait a minute, shouldn't it be lasting more than an hour if you're pulling a thousand watts? Uh, yeah, it's, there's, there is about a, like an 8% I think less in basically whenever you're, you have the inverter running. So whatever you're powering using the AC, because the inverter, in the process of converting DC to AC power, there's always going to be some loss. And I guess that's where, you know, again, you're not going to be able to get that full 1100 watt hours unless you're pulling it using the DC plugs that are up here. So next, let me maybe kind of talk about really what it is it that you have up here. So the first thing you're going to see here is uh, here, well, the switch. So the switch basically turns on uh, the generator. If you pull it this way, it turns on the... Uh, DC plugs. So you see you have two up here, which were 12 volt DC plugs. Uh, then you have a 12 uh, volt car kind of cigarette light, you know, sockets that you have find in your cars. And then you find the Qualcomm 3 uh, U and then USB-C connections up here. So you can power your cell phones, laptops, you know, anything that uses USB or USB type C uh, plugs, you can use that up here. Now, if you turn this switch to the other side, then, I don't know if you can hear it, but there is a little bit of a fan. That's the fan for the inverter that's built in. And that fan will kick in. It's not very loud, but right now, the microphone's like right here above my head. So you might, might be able to hear that slight of the, 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 you know, the sound of the fan. But basically, the, once the you turn on the inverter, that powers all the AC plugs. So you have uh, six plugs here, which are your standard 120 volt plugs. And then you this big one up here, that's actually a 30 amp uh, plug that's kind of more commonly used with like for example RVs and things like that and that's because this thing is actually a very popular I think uh, you know battery to for anybody who travels or 
has an RV so, because you can plug in a 30 amp you know RV plug and you can power your whole RV. I've actually done this. I, I've I got this for my filmmaking, but uh, I do have an RV and I travel a lot for pleasure and for work. And this thing is great. I, I'm able to again plug this into the 30 amp uh, connection, and my little RV you know again doesn't draw that much, but Basically, depending on how many appliances you have on in your RV, obviously this battery will last you a different amount of times. But uh, again, it's a very powerful little thing. Just the fact that it can power a whole RV is, is pretty incredible. Now, actually, if you are traveling with this and let's say you want to charge this while you're driving because, you know, you have an alternator in, the, in your car that produces electricity. Well, you can actually get a 12 volt cigarette lighter charger for this. So you can plug it up here on the side and that will actually charge the... Uh, the, 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 this box for you while you're driving. Uh, another way of charging it is uh, plugging in here the uh, the AC adapter that comes with it. That will take a long time though because again this is 1100 watt hours and the standard AC adapter will take around 11, around a little bit over 11 hours to basically charge this whole thing. So yeah, again, it's it's a little bit of a disappointment there. Again, you know, when I first got this, I thought I could just plug it in and overnight charge it, you know, to full capacity. But again, it's uh, unless you're sleeping 11 hours, <laughs> it, that's not the case. You can get a more powerful AC charger uh, from this company. You get it from their website. And by the way, this thing right now is uh, on pre-sale orders uh, up until August 5th, I believe, is the date. So if you guys want to get this and you want to get a big discount on this, then order it before August 5th. And if you order also following the using the link uh, down below uh, with my basically discount code, then you'll get on top of that another 20% off. I did. I basically picked this up myself. I, I wasn't paid by this company to review this. I'm, I actually bought it with my own money. They gave me a discount, but I still had to pay for it. Uh, it is a pricey thing, but like I said, it's an investment because you can use this for so many things I and mean, basically whatever you need power while, while you're you know on the go uh, and for filmmaking or for photography or whatever you know for almost any kind of work this is this comes in really handy even if you have let's say power tools that you need to use again you can plug this in because remember this thing has a 1500 watt pure sine wave inverter built in so you can power really powerful tools and things like that. You can charge it various ways using the different AC or car adapters, but you can also plug it in here using an EC8 plug, uh, which makes it very easy and convenient. You can plug in the solar panels from this company. Uh, they make their you know, various types of solar panels. Uh, I got two of their panels, which are 100 watt panels, uh, and these are flexible panels. Very cool, very good quality solar panels. They output a lot of power. Um, and like I said, they're rated at 100 watts. Doesn't mean that you're always going to get 100 watts, again, depending also on the weather and stuff like that. But you can plug in uh, up to 500 watts of solar into here without any issues. Now, in my experience, using the solar panels uh, to charge this, uh, it can be a lot more efficient. Now, if you only get one 100 watt panel, uh, you know, solar panel for this, then it's going to be more or less the same as it takes uh, with an AC plug. So around 11 hours uh, to charge this, uh, if you have like a sunny day or more or less sunny day, uh, which means basically, because you're never gonna get 11 hours of pure sun as you can in, in a day. Um, so pretty much means you, it would take you like two, two sunny days to fully charge this. So I definitely think you wanna get at least two solar panels. Uh, with two solar panels plugged in, you can actually charge this in around six and a half hours. That's That's what I basically seen. Now, when you have, uh, let's say, cloudy days or, or maybe, let's say, you know, days where you have some sun, but every so on you have clouds coming in, then that can drastically drop off. Um, and it can vary anywhere from, again, depending how many clouds there are, it can go from 7 hours to, again, 10 hours to basically charge this thing. So, uh, again, keep that in mind. Uh, you can, of course, connect up to 5 100 watt panels uh, to this uh, for a total of 500 watts. And that would really give you the sort of maximum. It would take about three hours then to charge it. Uh, in my experience, I actually did test it out with three different 100 uh, watt uh, solar panels. And then it took on a sunny day uh, four hours, like around four hours and 40 minutes uh, to charge this thing with those three panels. Now, just keep in mind that one panel was not from energy. It was actually uh, from a completely different company that I got. 
And the reason why I'm telling you this is because I know that when I posted about this on Instagram and a few other places, people were asking me already, do you have to use it with their solar panels? Because they're, you know, the energy has really good quality solar panels, but they're a little bit more pricier than some of the, the com compet competitors out there. And it, technically, you're not allowed to use it with a thing. With, if you do use it with other third party solar panels, then your warranty basically goes out the window. Now, the reason for this is because I know previously energy had problems with customers plugging in different solar panels and they didn't know how to plug it in correctly and they would just again completely destroy everything that's inside you know the, the destroy the battery or the inverter or the charger or whatever um which didn't hear this thing has a really good uh charge controller it's an mppt charge controller which basically if you don't know just means it's like the most efficient charge controller on the market so it's going to take and utilize that solar basically energy that comes in the best uh without wasting you know as much energy as some other charge control so that's a good thing but again you want to be safe you want to be using their their uh, panels unless you really know what you're doing so what i mean by that is if you really want to, you can actually get an EC8 plug to an, like an MC4, which is the standard sort of solar panel plugs adapter. If you guys want, I'll provide the link for that in the description and you guys can check that out. Uh, but again, if you're going to do that, you, you're losing warranty and you're, uh, you know, you're risking basically destroying this thing. So I would say if you never used anything like this, just spend the, the money and buy, which again are very good quality solar panels buy them from you know, energy and then it's very simple it's plug and play you literally chain kind of one solar panel to another so up to five panels you can plug them in and then you can charge this thing really quickly like i said three hours so you know in a, i don't know in the middle of the day in a nice day you get plug it in and you don't have to worry about this you get you can you know you have power throughout the whole day now another question i've been getting is can you charge this like let's say if you wanted to use this during the day but also want to recharge it so at night you still have some power left. Yes, you can do that. So while you're charging this using solar panels, you can be drawing power from this so in real time could be kind of using. And, and, and then it depends if you're basically using less power than you're actually putting in through the panels, then you'd still be charging your battery, like, you know, increasing your, your levels while at the same time being able to use your, your equipment. Uh, if you're using more than you're bringing in through the solar panels, then you'd be draining the battery, but again, at a slower rate than without the solar panels. So either way, I think this thing is called, you know, a solar generator, I think for a reason. And that's because it works the best if you have those solar panels. So I'd say minimum two, but if you can buy three, four, or even five. Now let me kind of get back talking about some of the things that you'll find up here. So these two here, the red and the black are, you know, the positive and negative for expansion batteries. So you can actually plug in two, uh, basically you can plug in extra uh, batteries, like lead acid batteries. You get this and you really like it, but you find that, you know what, I still want to have even more power, but I like the inverter in here. I like the, you know, the, that nice MPPT uh, charge controller. I like all these cool things in here. I just want to have more capacity. Well, instead of buying another box like that, you can just buy extra batteries. And uh, now another thing you'll find here on the right side is uh, these little buttons, which are actually for the breakers. So meaning if you actually, actually, let's say, plug in too much stuff in here and you, let's say, overheat the, the inverter, whatever it is, you, you pull too much power than you're supposed to, well, it's going to basically, instead of completely destroying everything, it's, it is actually protected inside there. Uh, and you're just setting off one of these breakers so you can actually press the button, reset them. Uh, and then you can keep on using it. There's a handle up here, nice and sturdy handle, so you can carry this. Again, 25 pounds, so it's not that heavy. Now, they do have these little, uh, here, latches for uh, the strap, which I have up here. Uh, but for example, when I connect it up here and I try to carry this whole thing with the strap, a lot of times as I'm walking, I find that this thing just ends up kind of extending to its maximum length, and then it will stop, and then I can use it like this. It just simply means that it's like really hanging low on my shoulder so um that's the only thing that that's kind of maybe annoying about the strap but otherwise it works to be honest though most of the time i just carry it with uh with this handle because because you know i don't need to walk around with this i put it somewhere plug my lights my you know camera gear my battery's charging and that's it i don't have to worry about it so in conclusion is this thing worth it because like i said it's not you know a, the cheapest accessory to buy 
but I think it's it's also when you consider the kind of freedom that this thing gives you, like seriously, whether you're doing photography or any kind of work, even, even if you're working with your laptop, you can power those laptops for hours and hours. I mean, you can power a whole fridge off of this. Like I said, I've, I've been able to power my whole, uh, you know, uh, travel trailer, uh, my, uh, my RV, like everything with this thing, and it just goes on for hours. So that's the really cool thing about this thing is it gives you power where you need it. Uh, and and I, that's why I think because of that, I myself was always on the fence, kind of. Oh man, should I, you know, should I go with this? Should I spend this much money on a, on what seemed like it's just a ba battery? But no, it's not a battery. Like I said, it's a uh, really efficient charge controller for the solar and and you know other ways that you can charge the nice uh, you know power inverter, all those things that you have, all these plugs, everything's ready for you. So it's it's a really handy thing. Uh, to have with you so whether you want to recharge your batteries or power your lights or run your laptops you can do video editing while you're uh, out in the middle of nowhere maybe in some beautiful location somewhere in the in the woods or out in the desert or whatever it is that, that uh, your work takes you again i can highly highly recommend this and like i said i have not been paid by anybody to say this i spend my own money on this box i'm using it myself on my own productions and it is it is top notch. It really, there's nothing I can say bad about it, other than maybe that little strap. That's uh, it's a little annoying. Like I said, I've been using it on different locations, and I uh, took it out to the beach a few times when I was doing stuff there. Uh, I was out in the forest, and uh, I even had water that fell on this. Not that this is waterproof, but I actually had water that fell up here on this, and it was completely covered, and nothing ever happened to it. It still keeps on working the same as it did on the, on the first day I got it. So I'm excited. Uh, like I said, it should supposed to last for you know up to ten years with the, the the charge cycles, and even after that, it's just you know with decreased efficiency, I can still be, you know be able to use it. But then by that point, I can expand the battery. So I think it's a worthwhile investment for the future for anybody. Anyways, take a look at this thing, guys, and also for those of you who maybe used this already or maybe used some other similar uh, solar generators. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Uh, anyways, my name is Tom and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.